Hey, what is going on guys? This is Ben here and today I'm bringing you another story time video. So if you're new to my channel, these are pretty much stories about my life and pretty much just events that have happened throughout till where I am now. I think they're pretty interesting. I have a lot of them to share. I've made three other ones and yeah, so if you guys want to see more of these, make sure to like on the video and if you have anything like similar to my story, make sure to leave it in the comment. I'm always interested to hear. But all right, for today's video, we're going to be talking about how I'm pretty much the king of broken arms and slash broken bones. So throughout this video, I'm just going to show you like, or not show you, I'm going to tell you like how I broke my arms a couple times and my wrist a couple times. But before I even get started to that, I need to give you some background knowledge at how I put myself or how these even happened to me. All right, so when I was like a young pup, uh, I was always the kid that got hurt. Like and at, at social events with my family, at on the playground, always something was always happening to me that injured my body. Uh, for example, you guys saw the story about the stick in my eye if you watched that story time. That's just one example. Even before that, when I was younger, like I, I would be, I'll be falling down staircases. I'd be doing skateboarding tricks, getting my knees cut up. Uh, even my knee has like, like a heat. I don't even know if you can see that. I have a huge scar on my knee from biking back in the day. The metal pedal screwed me up. Uh, just always little things just always when I was young girls playing with my cousins I would run around with a Green Bay Packers helmet while I let them chuck footballs at my face all uh, the American footballs so <laughs> yeah just all this I was just always a kid I was so adventurous I tried anything uh, I I didn't really really care and I didn't and I did suffer the con consequences of that many times about getting injured so all right back in the day about elementary school this is my first broken bone. I was, I was just goofing around on the monkey bars with some of my friends, uh, so, like seven-year-old kids. You, you, you don't really care. Um, you're just doing whatever, having a good time. So, yeah, the monkey bars. I was actually trying to like go from one monkey bar and then like do a 360 in the end and grab on the other one. That didn't work out so well, or didn't work out so well. Sorry. On the first attempt, I missed and fell straight to the ground. And you know how you try and brace yourself. When you like fall, you try. I, I try and bro like brace myself with my arm. And I landed. My butt cheeks landed right on top of my wrist, and I fractured my wrist. Uh, at the time, I don't really remember too much, but I don't really remember. I didn't think I was in too much pain. I just remember it was like throbbing. So I kind of went to the teacher and I was like, my arm hurts or whatever. And then they're like, what did you do? And I was kind of, I just like, I fell off the monkey bars and landed on my hand. So they took me to the doctor, got the x-ray. I actually wish I had the x-rays with me because I'm pretty sure I have all of the x-rays of my broken bones because I show them on the screen, but I'm pretty sure they're back in my house. So yeah, and I had to get a cast. The That was really interesting because I got one of these waterproof casts so you could like take showers and stuff in them. And it was really lightweight too, but like it was it was a hard cast. So you, if you punch someone, it would hurt. Hurt them more than it would hurt me even though I have the broken bone. But yeah, so I had that I had a red cast, people signed it and everything, and it after I had to have it for like three or four weeks. And at, around that fourth week to fifth I think it was actually I think it was six weeks. I think I had it for six weeks, but around that fifth week, that thing started to stink, man. It was disgusting. If you've ever had a cast, you know what I'm talking about. Like your your skin kind of gets a little weird from being in the cast for so long. It starts to stink because of all that uh, whatever sweat, dead skin in there. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go too much into it. But yeah, it stinks. So fast forward a little, like another week when I was about to get that off. That thing was smelling so bad. They cut it off. And I wanted to keep it just because it was my first cast. But my mom's like, hell no. That thing smells so bad. We're not keeping that. So we didn't end up keeping my first cast. And then that's how I broke my first bone in my body. The next one, fast forward about probably a year and I was actually in Michigan visiting my mom's sister and <laughs> they have like, this isn't really a zip line, like a big, big where you where you strap down and go down tree lines with the zip line. This is kind of one of your backyard zip lines where it was like hooked up from a playground to a tree. So it's about like, I don't know, maybe 20 feet across and only like maybe 10 feet in the air, but you like held onto it like this and then you went down. So yeah, silly me, I was climbed up on top of the playground had the zip line already, and this is about 10 times, so I was probably a little fatigued from doing this. And then he would swing down, and as soon as I my feet left the platform, I, I for some reason I let go and I started falling head first down. 
and I kind of landed like like this on the ground like picture the space in front of me right here is the ground I landed like this with my arm and oh my god so landing like this with my chest on top of it that was uh it was interesting at first I didn't think anything was wrong of course I got the wind knocked out of me so I kind of got up and I kind of was like looking around and my stepdad was watching me he was actually filming this at the time because he, he just wanted to film me go down the zip line and I get up and I'm not gonna show I'm not gonna show you this video I would if I could maybe later but it is terrifying like I got up just looking around kind of brush myself off looking that everything was fine and then you kind of if you saw my face on this reaction I'll, I'll try and do the best in person I was looking around and then I looked down at my arm and my face just like dropped I was like and then I started screaming and screaming and crying so my arm was literally like this it was like like it was right here it was straight up like this so it was out of place completely broken and it literally was like I had deformed arm oh that thing killed the story of this our broken arm is ridiculous so I, I was kicking and screaming I run to my stepdad show him my arm I'm like holding it like this and immediately we grab my mom's sister get in the car and Michigan traffic was so bad at the time I, I thought it felt like for a year I was sitting at traffic because this red light literally would not change the green I was getting so mad and I was in so much that was probably the most pain I've ever been in my life because I was about I felt like I was about to pass out honestly and I just kept looking at my arm like what is going on and uh, oh my god so we got to the hospital and I still had to wait like 20 minutes for them to even look at me because it was the emergency room like on a Sunday and it was busy oh and then they put the IV in there me and it still hurt like crap and then they put me on these drugs that were supposed to knock me out and put me to sleep so they could like literally pop my arm back into place uh, this, so they finally put those drugs in me I kinda like was out of it for a while but came I kinda woke up when they came to get me to work on my arm and put it back into place and they said I wouldn't remember like any of this before this uh, but I remember pretty much the whole thing vividly so the doctor holds up my arm and he he presses on it with his all of his might with his two hands and all you hear is this crap and it pops back into place and ah oh my god like I was like ah I screamed so loud and then right after that I was out I passed out from the pain but he put my arm back into place and did a good job like they said I would not remember any of that and that was oh I, I do not want to ever, ever want to break my bone like that again that hurts so bad be a lot uh, other than that it was on the same arm I broke uh, my wrist with the well with the, uh, the what's it called crap I can't remember I'm too into the story the handle swing sets handlebars what we call them I can't remember but yeah so it was cracked and it almost went through my growth plate well it did and so they're lucky to say like my arm kept growing like it did but my wrist like both of them are kind of like really thick now because I broke I broke I broke both of them multiple times but yeah so I broke my arm in two spots they had to put that one into place luckily no screws because um, they were able to put it and it formed right into the uh, the right spot when they put it back in but I had to wear a cast for like that was like almost a month or two and it wasn't one of those waterproof casts either so that one oh that was a full arm cast too that I hated that and then I had to write with my right hand because I'm actually I write left-handed so uh no no that was my right arm so I was good there because I was left-handed so I was fine with that I'm gonna I gotta cut this part out here all right fast forward a little bit again this was kind of toward more towards middle school so I was probably like 13 or something at the time and I was big into skateboarding and biker like being a BMX biker at the time and around my town we would always be driving around and like I said I, we would go off jumps and that's how I kind of got the scar on my knee as there was like a 10 foot gap in these little jumps that we did so you'd go as fast as you can and you'd fly through the air that was the most exhilarating thing but you landed hard so then my foot fell off the pedal and scratched my knee um, but that's a, that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about this is another time uh, this is at a baseball park and they were putting dirt on the fields uh, but we kind of <laughs> we kind of modified the dirt on the fields to jumps for bikes and I was going off one 
and I kind of bailed because I was not gonna land it like properly. So I kind of threw my bike away and I landed pretty hard, uh, like sideways on my left wrist. And I kind of fractured my wrist there. And I didn't really need a cast for it. I just kind of got a brace because it wasn't, it was just kind of like a, a hairline fracture, like a kind of, it kind of looked like a stress fracture. So it's just like cracked the bone. It didn't actually break it. So that was on my left wrist. I had to wear a stress, uh, not a stress fact. It was a stress fracture, but I had to wear a, uh, a band, not a band. I don't even know what it's called anymore. Uh, too much thoughts running through my mind from those, remembering those bad days of all the broken injuries. <laughs> but yeah, I had to wear a brace for a couple weeks until it started to feel better. I just had to be careful with it. So that was another one. And then this was the most recent. This was probably my sophomore year. This, this was my sophomore year in high school. Uh, it was hockey, hockey season during the captain practices. And we were doing these drills where you would skate towards each other and then towards like the middle ice because it was a huge full ice drill. One people, one person would start on one side, the other person would start on another side. And then uh, you both would get a puck at the center ice. They would, like Someone would pass you a puck, both of you. And then you would go backwards around the center circle and try and score on the enemy, uh, not the enemy team, the, <laughs> the opposing goalie on the other side. So what I was doing, I was doing my drill right uh, this was the first run at it. I was going towards the middle ice, caught my pass. The other person missed his pass, so he was kind of looking towards the ground and didn't see me coming, and he ran, like, right into me, and he kind of blindsided me. So, I, we were both going, like, full speed, too, so it was just a head-on-head -head collision. I got blindsided, tried to break my fall with my wrist, again, which I do all the time, and it just, like, it like bounced weird and it I don't know like it, all the all the velocity or pressure of my weight on my body went on my arm and cracked my wrist at the time though in hockey I didn't I didn't think my wrist was like hurt broken or hurt at all because we it was like a head-on-head -head collision and my head and ear were just throbbing because it hit my helmet so hard and it left a dent in it so I thought I had like a concussion or something so I sat on the bench for probably two minutes uh, just to like regain my sense of consciousness and then I, I went back out on the ice was doing the drill again, and that's I did I still didn't know my arm was broken at that time so I went to catch a pass and when you if you play hockey you know how like sometimes it leaves a vibration on your stick if you catch the puck that vibration rung through my arm and oh my god that was another one of the worst pains of my life the vibration of the stick just rattled my arm and it hurt so bad and that's when I knew my arm my wrist was broken ah it was horrible. Um, right after that, I just dropped my stick. I uh, immediately skated off the ice, called my father. I was like, yo, you need to come get me. I'm pretty sure 99% positive I broke my arm. So we went to the doctor, of course. It was broken. Had to have another cast. Could not play hockey for a little bit, but I just still skated around with the team. And other than that, that's about it for my broken arms. So two on the left hand. Two on the right hand. Of course, my right hand's probably got a little bit worse with that zipline one. But yeah, oh, a lot of bad memories there and a lot of broken, broken bones. So this was a little bit longer of a story time video just about the broken bones. There's a lot more injuries I have sustained throughout my life, but those are just the broken bones. Um, like I said, though, I was a pretty, re not re like, rebellious kid, but I was just adventurous, always did anything, didn't really care too much for my body when I was younger. So I got a lot of injuries from that. Uh, if you guys heard anything similar, let me know some similar stories in the comments. And if you like, as always, if you guys want to see more of these videos, make sure you like if you enjoyed the video. Um, so I hope I don't get any more broken bones in my lifetime, though, because they suck. So I, I wish you guys the best, too, and hopefully you don't get any broken bones either. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys later.